<laughs> I was muted. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway. Uh, hello, world. Mr. Resistor here. Continuing our Alpha New Bro journey. Um, let's see. We've got drones level four. Good stuff going for level five. Let's see, is that actually the most important thing we could be training right now? I think I'm going to go with yes because uh, that's going to limit the number of drones we can have in flight. Um, this will also allow us to get Minmatar drone specialization, which, let's see. Uh, I believe once we get up to light drones, five, uh, and with one level of, uh, Invitar drone specialization will be able to fly. Uh, attack two warriors. Which is good. Um, basically, if you're dealing with Brigitte or Destroyer level enemies, um, five T2 warriors are capable of pretty much handling all of that. Um, and you just have to be able to tank the incoming damage. Um, so, anyway, as I said, gonna be a short one today, but we gotta get out there and do an anomaly or two. So, let's go with lost two drone clusters and an angel hideaway very good so let's see Don't put them on. Don't put them on. all right looks good we'll see how fast they go um might even be able to knock out all three if nobody else is there running them. Uh, drive active. So, uh, anyway, reason it's short tonight was I had to help my mom out with some stuff, so I'm getting to this considerably later than usual. means I don't have much time if I want to be able to brain tomorrow at work. And I do, because it's necessary for my job. First. Active. Oh yeah, what'd we get for our login? A skin. Basilisk. That is what? Kaldari? Kaldari Logistics Cruiser. Tech 2. Well, we can't sell it, so... Here we go. All right, got some distance here. That's good. Let's put our drones out. No need to start our tanking just yet. So they're doing damage to us.
<clears throat> we might be the only ones in system. Um, I think that if you're not in local, then you don't show up in local. Um, I've never tested that, but if I remember correctly, that's how that works. So, local channel being empty is not necessarily a guarantee that the system is empty. It's always a good thing to keep in mind. As a general rule, I'm always going to the closest targets first. Um, and there's two reasons for that. Um, one being they're closer to being in my optimal range, so I'm likely to do more damage to them. Um, but the other being that they're closer to being able to do more damage to me. Um, and um, that's obviously to be avoided, especially if we're in a bit that's built to take advantage of range like this one. Um, we don't want things to get too close, right? Because right now we're at full cap because we are not having to run any of our defensive modules. Um, simply because none of the enemy is getting close enough to hit us. And the longer we can maintain that, the better off we're going to be. Um, now the other thing too is that, um, going back to my own damage application, the farther away something is, um, the, 
the less, what can I say, relative angular velocity they have. A module have. has run out of charges. Right. Um, <clears throat> however fast they're going, it's not going to change the angle at which I my guns have to be pointed in order to hit them as quickly. I feel like I lost control of that sentence. Anyway, it's about traversal and tracking speed for guns, right? The farther away something is, the less tracking speed is an issue. Um, yeah, that's basically it. Um, <coughs> if I let these guys get too close, I might not even be able to hit them with my guns. Um, even cruisers might, you know, if they're orbiting me at, say, two or three thousand meters, might be um, traversing too fast for my guns to track, even, you know, even if you're talking a slow ship like a cruiser, uh, just because being so close makes their angular velocity um, so much more of a problem. So, yeah, there you can see. It's at 4,000 meters. Has run out of charges. And my guns are missing. So, here's what I'm going to do. Is I'm going to get moving, make them chase me, um, so again, reducing their angular velocity uh, relative to me, and hopefully uh, allowing my guns to track better and get more damage application. Yeah, see, there we go. Now that they're behind me trying to keep up, I'm able to hit them. my guns really don't have to do much work to track, I'm able to burn them down pretty quickly, even, even the tougher cruisers. So, anyway, uh, I mean, that's just kind of the basic tactics of this kind of fight. Um, well, of uh, fighting in this kind of ship. Um, and, uh, yeah, I, I think maybe, maybe another lesson to take from that is, uh, if you're having trouble hitting, try running away, and then, uh, maybe you'll have a little more luck with your targeting. So. Anyway, um, <coughs> the math might seem a little bit complicated, but I think I think once you once you get a sense of it, it's it's actually pretty intuitive.
try and keep an eye on what we get, huh? Dual 180s, I think, are the uh, smallest auto cannons, medium, if I remember correctly. Um, could be useful to us if we wanted to try doing a brawler fit, you know, where we would really get into the middle of it and. Uh, try to scrap, but um, I don't know. I don't, uh, there's a part of me that always wants to build those ships, but you really got to have a good strong tank to be able to do that. Uh, otherwise, you're mostly just Had a sneeze there. Um, anyway, if your tank isn't real good in a brawler ship, uh, you mostly just end up with high repair bills. And I mean, uh, it's just into armor. Eh, that's not too big of a deal. Um, once they get into hull, though, the uh, repair bill goes up quickly. Alright, let's check. Orb drive active. Are no stations in this system. That's interesting. They're not even play around. out. Target this guy.
That it? The thing is still there. Oh, that's it. All right. Uh, let's hit this other one while we're here. Hope drive active. Weird that there's not even a play around station here. I wonder. Am I just not seeing it? Getting some good damage numbers on those guys. Well, especially at this range. <coughs> I wonder if this drone lookout drops anything. What I would have guessed, but it never hurts to check, right? Huh. Yeah, 
I guess there really is no play around stations. Only a couple of mining belts too, so not really a good reason to. <clears throat> Unless I guess you just want a nice quiet place to do your thing. <clears throat> Orb drive active. All right, well, that's three more combat sites knocked off our to-do list. So, I feel like we made some pretty good progress. And... Not much more in loot, but that's fine. It's not really our goal anyway. Warp drive active. At least not this time. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. Right. And coming in just shy of half an hour, so actually a little bit longer than I expected. That's okay. Feel good about what we got done. And until next time, have a good one.